Their growing popularity brings up a number of legal issues. We're looking at drones and the laws of the air today on The Future. Welcome to Drones 202. Today we're exploring the laws around these wonderful flying machines, and we met up with lawyer James Arrowwood. He specializes in laws regarding technology and, of course, drones. The FAA has issued guidelines for people who wish to fly drones on a hobby basis under the guidelines that it has to be under 400 feet, don't fly near manned aircraft, don't fly within five miles of an airport without permission from the, the airport, definitely don't fly commercially, and follow generally accepted community guidelines for flying hobby aircraft. So what do you see with the proliferation of drones? What are the pros? What are the cons? Drones are going to provide an amazing capacity to save lives and to help our economy, and they, they ought to be used in that way. But there are some very simple technological regulatory laws that we could put in place on a federal level that would protect us from the bad uses of drones, which we know are going to happen. They're going to be used to commit robberies. They're going to be used to, uh, unfortunately, hurt or kill people. And right now, we don't have a good regulatory system that requires a chain of custody. And it's very simple to do. It probably costs a dollar to add the kinds of RFID chips into a drone that could handle that. Obviously, drones are in a Wild West state of existence right now, with state and federal governments scurrying to come up with the appropriate guidelines to control the millions of drones expected to fill our skies. But what will all those drones look like? Next week, we'll be exploring the variety of options out there on Drones 303, The Landscape. Drone laws with lots of flaws on The Futurist.